Hello, welcome to my Winter Wonderland tag. This is my Hello, welcome to my Winter Wonderland tag. Uh, I've been tagged by Michelle, my friend from Mirth and Meriki. Also, you can find her at Parang Tang uh, on YouTube and Twitter. And this was actually started by Viva Glam Sasha on YouTube, so you can check that out too. Well, I actually really don't like winter. I really dislike winter. Uh, but if I had to choose a favorite part about it, it would definitely be walking in the snow while it's snowing and preferably nighttime. That's my favorite thing. There's just something beautiful and quiet and peaceful about walking in the snow. What do you dislike about winter? So what I dislike about winter is uh, very simple, the cold. I hate the cold weather and usually where I am at winter time uh, it's usually very cold and windy and I used to live in the Pacific Northwest and there it's windy and rainy and humid and just horrible, gray, cloudy, whatever. Um, and here in Seoul, where I live now, the winter is, is pretty cold. You've got your wind, you've got your big buildings and uh, that create wind tunnels when you're walking through. So I definitely a scarf girl. So the question is scarves or beanies. I would definitely say I own probably about 20 scarves just here in Korea and all the other scarves back home probably somewhere around 50 scarves. And I'm not exaggerating. I really do love scarves. I wear them in the summertime, springtime, winter of course. And today I'm actually, I've actually brought this scarf which I actually made. I knit this and um, it's just got like a basket weave pattern and I just you know, because of the cold weather, I also have allergies to the cold. Uh, breathing it in, it just makes me cough like nobody's business. So I just wrap it around a couple times, and yeah, I'm good to go. Yeah, so definitely a scarf person over a beanie person. So scarves all the way. Kind of like an all year round essential, but I've really been turned on to BB cream. I don't know if you can really see that, it's kind of bright. But anyways, um, BB cream, there you go. Uh, this Misha BB cream. And um, I just use this all year round. It moisturizes my skin, it gives me that SPF uh, that we all should be using. So, winter essential number one. And then I kind of have three different products, but they all have the same theme. Uh, the theme is moisture. So you gotta keep moisturized uh, during winter time. So, uh, the first one, I wear contacts, so definitely need to have your Visine uh, drops. And I recently started using this cocoa butter. And what I do is I use it on my cuticles. And actually, I haven't had problems with uh, dryness um, on my fingers and cuticles. So I just kind of warm it up in my palm, and then I just kind of rub it all over. My kids love this stuff. I'm a teacher, and my students just love the smell of this. And sometimes I like rub it on their hands, and they just they get a kick out of that. So uh, for cuticles, dryness, I use this uh, cocoa butter stick. It smells delicious, like chocolate. And for lip moisture, I use um, this vitamin stick, which I got from iHerb. And it's, it's clear, and uh, yeah, it's just, it keeps my lips well moisturized. And the third thing <clears throat> that is essential for winter time, you gotta keep up your health. So uh, definitely some vitamin C and zinc. So um, these are great. You just They're little tablets that just fizz up in water and you just drink them. You can drink them hot or cold and I usually take them uh, just in my, my regular water. And that keeps you healthy through the winter time. So those are my three essentials. Actually more than three but these have a theme so I think that counts. I actually have a few but this one just comes to mind because it's it's been a favorite for a long time and that one is Family Man and it's got Taylor Leone and Nicolas Cage and if you haven't seen that one I highly recommend it it's really a great movie um, it's about this man who um, it's kind of uh, like a Scrooge character and he goes back and sees what his life could have been if he had stayed with the woman that he loved and uh, so it's just it's really interesting and I, I really enjoy the acting and my favorite Starbucks holiday drink. Well, back in the States, 
Um, I really enjoyed the eggnog latte, and uh, unfortunately, we don't have that here in Korea. There's no, you can't really find eggnog in Korea. I mean, you can, but it's very expensive. You have to go to specialty markets for it. I think last year I just made some, and it was it was fine. But anyways, the eggnog latte from Starbucks I do love for the holidays, or even a peppermint mocha. I really miss a peppermint mocha. Uh, here in Korea. They do make a really good signature hot chocolate. So I usually get the soy signature hot chocolate with soy whipped cream, which I don't know if they have that in the States, but they have it in Korea and it's amazing, so. Okay, next question is, what is on your wish list? So on my wish list, right now I'm training for a half marathon and so I really need to be running more outside. And it's really difficult because as I mentioned earlier, it's really cold here right now so on my wish list I would definitely like to get more winter running gear so more heat tech um, and uh, some running gloves and just you know maybe like a vest something like that that would make running outside more comfortable I still do it but I'm pretty miserable and you know I love running outside running on a treadmill is just terrible like it's just terrible for your psyche it's just awful so I usually just run outside suffer in the cold so maybe some winter running gear would do me do me good any christmas songs and um, having to pick one is really difficult for me because i love all of them but uh, my favorite christmas song would have to be oh holy night whenever i hear that song i just it just stirs something inside me it just feels so um emotional to me and uh, i love it i love that song and all the renditions I've heard of it, like they all just are so powerful. So, Oh Holy Night is my favorite Christmas song. How will we spend the holidays this uh, Christmas? This is actually going to be my third, I think, third Christmas as an expat. And uh, yeah, as an expat, Christmas is a little bit different. Living in Korea, Christmas is considered to be more of a couple's holiday. So instead of a family holiday, so you'll see lots of couples going out to dinner and holding hands and stuff like that, which is, you know, whatever. Um, so usually what we do is we just get together with friends, either at someone's house or go to a restaurant, but the last few years it's been going to someone's house and just making food and just spending time together, and that's really nice. So I think this year we'll probably do more of the same, maybe catch a basketball game, which is what we did last year. That was pretty fun. So catch a basketball game, hang out with friends, maybe do like a white elephant gift exchange. So. so that's the end of my Winter Wonderland tag video. Um, I'm not sure if at this point I'm supposed to tag someone else, um, so I'm just not going to tag anybody and then maybe in the comment section or something I can tag someone. But uh, So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and thank you to Parang Tang at Twitter for tagging me in this video. It was pretty fun, pretty interesting. I never really thought about this stuff in depth, so it was kind of interesting to kind of put it out there. So anyways, Merry Christmas everyone, and hope you enjoyed the video.